Oh my god, it's such dog and rumpa vibes. I'm here for it. Let's look at the volume settings really quick. I want the voice oh, volume. This is looking pretty good. Okay. The letters, Mason. What do they mean? <laughs> Oh, who are you? Please don't be annoying as Paimon. <laughs> oh, look! A human! It's been a while. <sighs> anyway, that was a good nap. I nearly slept through the whole thing. What, what? Slept through what? Let's see. All right, there's something I have to do first. Okay, human, listen up. First, I'll have you select your difficulty. My difficulty! Choose wisely. Oh no. Complain about it later, and I'll boom kill ya. Now yes, ma'am. Okay, wait. So, adorable, me, or lenient, mean, troublesome, adorable. Wait, that, what, this doesn't make any fucking sense. There's, there's, there's no scaling here. Lenient, mean, ad adorable, troublesome. Why are they, why are they ordered like this? Wait, guys, I'm gonna have you pick. I'm gonna have you pick because I don't, I don't know what this means, chat. You, you can pick my difficulty, okay? Troublesome is probably harder than mean. You think so? Troublesome is easier than mean, definitely. See, there's, there's so much lost, lost in the sauce. But I'm, I'm here for it. Let's do mean. Oh, you sure about that? Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, uh, girl, why are you giving me this? Hmm. You want to know what difficulty that is? Okay, what cool. What? Did is how difficult yours truly will be on you. You? Be as difficult with you as you wish. So I hope you're ready. Wait, well, yeah. you're gonna be to mean to me? Honest, it's all the same, no matter what you pick. Oh, okay. I'm your lenient, mean, troublesome, adorable okay. partner. After I just got time. pranked on. So, <laughs> are you ready? A girl, you, you know what? Start for real? Stop wasting my time. Yeah, let's start for real. You wanna start? Yes, I do. Seriously? For yes, real? girl, let's go. Try me. Yeah, let's start for real, girl. Huh. Guess you're really here for it. Sounds like you're just dying to solve some mysteries. You just can't wait to go on adventures with me, right? <laughs> Humans are so weird. She's so cute. I love her. Well, let's get this started. It's time to embark on my lovely, thrilling, wonderful, mystery-solving adventure. Let's go! The massacre on the Amaterasu Express? Hey, yo, who put Itachi in this game? Oh, we on a train. <laughs> oh boy! Has a body already been discovered? Oh wait, no, I think that's me. Oh boy, you 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 better wake up before you get spooked. Girl! Why would you throw some books on me like that? What's going on? W wait. Huh? Where am I? Oh shut up. We get cutscenes. Oh my god, this game's gonna be so good. We get fucking cutscenes now! Mm. What? <laughs> oh, girly, she's already pulling pranks on me. Do I even know who she is? Who am I? Uh, 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 why? Uh, how? Uh, I can't remember anything. Does that mean... Do I have... Uh, what was it called? <laughs> amnesia? Imagine knowing what you have, but can't remember what it was because it's called amnesia. I love this. Do I have... Uh, what is it called? Amnesia? I'm screaming. That's pretty good so far. Uh, all right. Calm down. Take a deep 
breath. <sighs> yeah, calm and collected. Oh, yo. Sir, those breathing techniques never work. Dang it! I can't remember anything! Where am I? Who am I? Why can't I remember? Me every time I wake up from a nap. <laughs> Inside your pocket. Huh? Check your belongings. Who's there? Am I hearing things too? I lost my memories and now I'm hearing things. What's going on? <laughs> oh my God. Spooky girl, show yourself. Ow. Don't just throw a book at me! Oh, what now? I can't catch a break. Hmm. Check my belongings. Huh. An envelope? Yeah, what do we got here? Notice. World Detective Organization Human Resources. Dear Yuma Coco Head. You are hereby dispatched to the special autonomous zone of Kano Ward. <laughs> they did not just do that to me. My last name, there's no shot. It's fucking Coco Head, brother. I look like I watched Coco Melon too. <laughs> Dispatch duration indefinite. Use the enclosed ticket to board the Amaterasu Express to Kanai Ward. Rendezvous with the master detectives on site. Upon arrival, proceed to the Nocturnal Detective Agency, World Detective Organization, Kanai Ward Branch. There, you will receive further instructions. Go forth, proud detectives. Eliminate all mysteries from this world. Yuma Coco Head? <laughs> I so can't, bro. He's like, damn. Did they really just call me Coco Head like that? That's my name? Yes. You the Coco Melon Kid. Coco Head! Thinking on it, <laughs> I guess that sounds right. Oh no, you're not supposed to say that. You're supposed to be like, wrong! <laughs> That's right. I finally remember. My name is Yuma. I'm Yuma Coco Head. <laughs> He's so proud! You know what? I'm good for him. Good for being loud and proud about being a Coco Head. <laughs> Oh, character intro. I like it. Oh, oh my God. What's this about the world detective the, the, organization? The blood. I just got flashbacks. It sounds significant. Am I a part of it? If that's the case, am I a detective? Girly pop, you can't remember shit. How are you going to solve any cases? Look like a detective's clothes. It seems I was supposed to get on a train, or at least I think so. Master detectives? Am I one of them? Could there be someone who knows me on the train? Here's the ticket. Let's check the schedule. Hey, it's almost time. There's no way the developer put Coco Head in here. Honestly, you know what? Coco Head can't even be my real name. Someone has to be playing a prank on me. I, I don't even know if I'm a real detective. I don't know who I am. I don't know how I got here. This could be some sort of sick game knowing the do creator of Danganronpa made this game, okay? They, they, they could just be playing me like a goddamn book. They're like, you know what? Before we throw this kid in a huge ass mystery, life-threatening case, Let's give him a silly little name. <laughs> Embrace the cocoa head. You know what? Facts. Well, I should get on that train. I'll find out more about myself if I meet someone who knows me. I have no idea where I'm at. Why are there so many umbrellas? The label reads, Lost Items Temporary Storage. Who be leaving their umbrellas around like this? Okay, shelf with umbrellas. Bags, hats, and books. A lot of stuff has been placed here. Ah, oh, look at this robot! A robot? It looks sturdy. The label says lost items. He wants me to go to the back of the room, but like... If I start moving shit, shit will fall. 
I think he's just tiny and afraid. I get it. The place where I was sleeping was in fact a janitor's closet. <laughs> Station's lost and found. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Did someone put me in the lost and found? <laughs> did I did I like pass out or take a fucking nap and there's like, mm, I don't know where this belongs. He put me in the fucking lost and found nice. closet. <laughs> I've been sleeping in a station's lost and found section. <laughs> but why was I sleeping here? Okay, dude. Yeah, the honey, Coco Head. I, I think you. I think someone just lost you, sir. I think someone lost. Someone lost you in the station. Put you in the lost and found. Did I faint or was I attacked? <laughs> if so, then who did it? Attention, passengers departing this station. Direct to Kanai Ward on the Amaterasu Express. Please board immediately. The train will depart soon. Uh, I have to get on that train. I better hurry. Yeah, you better hurry up, Coco Head. I really hope there's some crude humor in here, kind of like other Rumpa games. Oh my god. I'm sorry. The Amaterasu Express will now depart. Oh, nice. Oh my god, this is a fancy ass train. All aboard! Oh, made it in time. Thank you for choosing the Amaterasu Express Direct to Kanai Ward. Our train utilizes Amaterasu Corporation's state-of-the-art technology for an automated, safe, and comfortable service. I'm not gonna lie, this don't feel very comfortable. This sounds absolutely horrifying. There is no crew aboard the train. Thank you for your understanding and support. That also does not sound very safe. Automatic? So nobody's driving this thing. This train has five cars. It will operate non-stop to its destination. Food and beverages are available in car two. Restrooms are available in car one and car five. In case of an emergency, Visit the backup control room in car three and contact control headquarters via the intercom. We hope you enjoy your trip aboard the Amaterasu Express on your journey to Kanai Ward. So there are five cars. This must be car one at the front. I better find the other detectives and meet up with them. This robot sounds really like, yeah, so basically no one's here to take care of you, killed your liking. That's what I'm hearing! That is exactly what I'm hearing, chat! <laughs> it's like, the automated message is like, by the way, no one is here to supervise in case of emergency or in case a killer wants to like, you know, disrupt the only form of communication. It's on car three. Uh, you can fuck that up and then you can just go on a killing spree, have fun. Baby boo boo, do your thing, Coco Head. <laughs> no. Okay, well, this is the restroom. There's a sink and toilet inside. This must be the restroom. There's no one inside it right now. Okay, but. Oh, this is kind of luxurious. Is someone pooping here, though? What do the toilet look Excuse like? Excuse me. Anyone in here? I guess there's no one here. I knew it. Seems like there's no one in here. If I want to find the detectives, I should try somewhere else. I need to see if anybody did any little dookie in the toilet. Can't use restroom in game minus one point. Um. Oh. Oh wait. Are there stuff in the back that I missed? You can make so many TikToks in front of that mirror. Transitions galore. Wait, what are you talking about? It won't open. I guess that's obvious. This is the front car. The nose of the train is just beyond it. If it opened, I could fall off. Aw, <laughs> what a cute face. Did you see that? It says main control room A. The door's locked. It won't open. There's a driver's seat inside, but no one's there. The machine appears to be functioning. That must be the automatic operation device. 
Okay. He said, I, can I see myself in the mirror or something? Why, what are you, are y'all talking about the, the bathroom mirror? Uh, I should go somewhere else. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! Hmm. I can see my reflection in the perfectly polished mirror. I'm still not used to it. Is that really my face? Mo, what if I transferred bodies? What if I truly am not a Coco head at heart? That'd be the biggest plot twist. Wait, what's this? I see a clean looking bed. This is probably the infirmary. It's locked, but there's no one inside. Oh, it's locked though? It says main control room B. The door is locked and won't open. I see a driver's seat in there, but no one's inside. There's a machine, but it's not on. Driver's seat's on both sides of the train. I think that means they can go in either direction. Oh, I kind of sounded like a real detective. <laughs> oh my god, no, that's embarrassing. Don't say that. <laughs> oh, wow, golly gee, I sound like a real streamer right now. No, stop! <laughs> Oh, this is what I didn't look at. The guide it's map. A map of the train. The first and last cars can control the train. The rest are passenger cars. Oh, neat. Okay, I saw everything here. Someone's there. I heard a voice behind the door. How do you know they're friendly? Oh, a furry. Oh, mommy. Um, I don't like you. Oh my god, villain? <gasps> Chiaki? She's giving me kind of Chiaki vibes, I'm not gonna lie. Excuse me, are you with the World Detective Organization? He sounds like a fanboy. You are, right? You're Master Detectives, aren't you? We are, but who are you? <laughs> um, Coco Head, who are you? Um, I'm with you. I think I'm also a master detective of the World Detective Organization. A boy like you? Master detective of the WDO? It seems like it. Seems like it. Oh my god, he has such an attitude. Maybe I like the furry boy. Like hell, dumbass. Huh? Okay, sit your ass back down. No one was talking to you. A runt like you, a master detective? Are we twink shaming? You're just shooting your mouth off. You look like a shriveled anteater. Anteater? What's the meaning of this? You got a lot of nerve posing as a master detective. Bro, he has the same I outfit as right you! Actually, you know what? Fan fanboys are kind of crazy. Wait, please hear me out. Oh, right. I, I have proof that I'm a master detective. A letter from the World Detective Organization? It's real. There's no mistake about it. What? Are you serious? Looks like there's a reason behind this. Go ahead and tell us. I'll allow it. Right. Thank you. But there's really not much to explain. Hey, yo, bro. Rewind it back. And that's what happened. Amnesia. Looks that way. I was hoping one of you would know who I am. Apparently not. No way. We're on the same team, but no one knows me? Then who am I? That's what I want to know. Besides, even if the letter is real, you may not be the right recipient. Why do you suspect me? There is a reason why. But first, do you know what the World Detective Organization is all about? Um, <clears throat> a little bit? I think I remember a little. Or not. Oh, we're useless. We don't remember jack shit. Guess not. So you called yourself a member without even knowing. 
Yes, sorry. <laughs> no, honestly, I, 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 bet, I bet that pink Whitney caused appendicitis. Jesus Christ. Dude, that's so sad. I was like, oh, appendicitis, they do the, like, that surgery all the time. They do it same day, send you home. I was all like, thankfully, it's just that cow. He'll be safe, he'll be fine. And you've been dealing with this for so long, dude. I feel so bad. I wish I, I wish I could make a smoothie for you, Cal. Well, I suppose it's a master detective's duty to shepherd the lost. <laughs> He's taking pity on me. Thanks, Addy. Very well, I'll tell you. Maybe you'll regain your memories after hearing what I have to say. Uh, thank you. Oh, okay. Should we chit chat with the other people first? Who should we talk to? This guy looks like a straight villain. This guy looks like a stereotypical ass. Like I'm the bad guys. I don't know why is he. Why is he? See, why is? Why are you here, sir? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you just fucking laughing at me? Okay. All right. Hi, mommy. Oh. Mama. Puppies. What is it? I don't know. Oh, she don't want to talk. Me don't want to talk. Me go mute. Okay, nobody want to talk to me. Just this guy. Sounds good. Listen up. The World Detective Organization is an extra legal, extra privileged organization devoted to eradicating the world's unsolved mysteries. Their branches exist throughout the world and their investigations are handled by master detectives. As of now, there are roughly 1,000 master detectives in the WDO. All have powers specializing in investigative work. Powers? They are supernatural powers used in investigation, known as forensic fortes. People who develop talents such as clairvoyant or mind reading, they train at the organization to harness these special powers, which aid in their investigations. Those who manage to gain a forte are recognized as master detectives and given a detective deed. Okay, so pretty much if you're born in a little weirdo state and you got a little quirky superpower, you can just become a master detective. Which means if you're a master detective, it should say so on your license. Detective deed? It's an identification card. Check your pockets. I don't have one. Oh! <clears throat> if you don't have a detective deed, you ain't one of us. Even if you got one, I'd suspect it's fake anyway. Okay, I think this guy's just a certified hater. Why are you hating on me so much? I'm just a confused little cocoa head. Oh, hold on, I'm not trying to trick anyone. Um, pardon me. He seems to be the only one accused of being an imposter. But how about the rest of you? Girl, I don't know who you are, but I love you! Thank you! If you require he has some sort of proof, then the same would apply to everyone here. Slay Chiaki 2.0! Huh? The hell did you just say? She's right. Everyone here has just met for the first time. Naturally, we would doubt one another. Huh? First time? So, you guys don't know each other? Master detectives rarely meet together. We each travel the world on our own, solving cases. I've never seen so many gathered together for a case like this. We thought all of the summoned members had shown up and were about to start introductions. Then you walked in. I see. Well, let's start the introductions. We'll include the tardy one as well. Oh, bro, he marked me as a tardy one. What? You still want to do introductions with the imposter too? <laughs> That's sus, dude. It's vital for us to ascertain each of our identities moving forward. All the more reason due to this uh, perplexing circumstance. Perplexing circumstance? What does he mean by that? Hey, sir. Hey, 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 hey. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by perplexing? What did he say? Perplexing circumstances! What do you mean by that? Now, let's begin. Who should I talk to first? 
I'm gonna talk to the devious one first. I am Zange Eraser. I come from a detective agency on the front lines, far from here. You part cyborg, sir? Oh, I like his piercings. Does he have a little rat tail? Does he have a rat tail? Perhaps you expect an introduction, but I have nothing to say. Let the past melt like ice in an evening's drink. That's how I live my life. Ah, I'll crack open a cold look right of that one, sir. Because <laughs> me fucking too, bro. <sighs> me too. <laughs> my forte is thotography. I can transcribe images from my memory onto electronics. Hey, yo, bro, ain't that just Google? That's all for me. There's no need for any further explanation. Is he the living Google? There's clearly something extraordinary about him. All right, let's talk to this douchebag first. I'm Mayfex Logan. I'm from the detective branch in the Eastern slums. Why you got ripped the fish nuts on your head? I'm just, uh, I'm just asking for a friend. They call me a master detective now, but I'm originally a broke illegal immigrant. <laughs> He's a... <laughs> okay, respect. When I was a kid, I was in an upstanding home living an upstanding life. My parents were lawyers who never tolerated injustice. They should have left well enough alone with that local mafioso. Because they went after him, they were murdered. Their necks were cut open right in front of me. Why is he painting this imagery for me? That's awful. I ran away to protect myself and jumped on a ship at the port. I didn't know where the ship was going. But that was the moment I threw away my past and my home. Sir, that doesn't sound like you threw away shit. That still sounds like you're reminiscing on it. I drifted to the slums and did everything I could to survive. I managed to survive until now, thanks to luck. With my natural talents, I was able to become a detective. But I also wanted revenge. I can't stand evil. But even if you ain't evil, I'll show no mercy to those who stand in my way. I think he just needs to stop to talk to a therapist. If I can't figure out He's the so difference angry. between the good guys and the baddies, then I just beat up both of them. The good guys, the baddies. Kill or be killed is my <laughs> Bro, isn't is he just a straight murderer then? He looks scary, but that's not all. I think there's a deep sadness within him. <laughs> I think there's a deep sadness with him. Maybe you should go get some therapy. <laughs> Yo, EV lover, thank you so much for the follow. I can't share details about my forte. Just know it's kind of like radar. What does that That's even mean? All you're going to tell us? A detective's gotta be tough. How about a little training? First, you'll need to get used to stab wounds. We'll start with an ice pick, then scissors, then a fruit knife. Who hired this guy? No, really, I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't need to be stabbed, sir. <laughs> Too bad. Hey, young man. Um, me? That's right. Come here. Stand before me. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Why? Uh, uh, whoa. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> uh, I'm measuring you. Ow! Uh, what? Uh, um... <laughs> Stay still for just a second. Please don't touch me there. That is my no no square. <laughs> Thank you. That was quite educational. What do you mean by that? You well. My name is Melanie Goldmine. My home is rather far north from here. Up there is a branch with detectives adept at spiritism. I was also active there as a medium. 
Melami? Is that how you say your name? I think I like her? I'm not sure yet. I'm a little creeped a out. Medium? I can summon the souls of the dead by using my body as a vessel. Summon a soul? Can you summon anyone who has died? Like, for example, the victim of a crime? Yes, of course. But there is one condition. I require the clothes that person wore while they were still alive. Only by wearing their clothes can I summon their soul. Okay, girl, but what if you can't fit in their clothes? Hence why my powers don't work on people smaller than me. Or if the person is far bigger. Overall, the size must match. Oh, okay. That's not too OP. I'd like that. Also, I can't abide outfits with no fashion sense. <laughs> Filthy, reeking clothes are always out of the question. That sounds more like a preference than a condition. No, sir, I'm pretty sure that's a condition. Clothes make a man. They reveal all about one's livelihood. Like skin worn over skin. That's what clothes are all about. Okay, wait, that's actually so true. I like that. I like that statement a lot. Consider that's that a good take. compared to bare skin, clothing has a greater surface area seen by other people. Therefore, clothes are an expression of a person's identity and originality. You ever think about how you've never heard of ghosts being naked? Ghosts wear clothing because those clothes are a part of their identity. Whoa! Oh, I never thought about that! That's pretty good, actually. Now that you mention it. That's why, despite your amnesia, I can tell the kind of person you are just by looking at the clothes you wear. Really? Your uniform is undoubtedly an official one supplied by the WDO. And I found it fits you perfectly after measuring your size. I don't think it could possibly belong to someone else. Which means I really am a master detective. Oh my god, it's like I'm having imposter syndrome, except I have amnesia. Am I one or not? I can't figure it out without my memory coming back to me. That's all I have to say. I'm the medium detective, Melanie. Nice to meet you all. Although I have a hard time believing that this game is going to make me cry or feel bad. Right? I feel like I can't I can't get that deep, yeah? Alright, Chiaki 2.0. Talk to me. An introduction. Introduce myself. A subjective observation of one's own self-image explained objectively. Uh are you okay? What did her eyes just do? Did I see something weird? Did I do something that caused you concern? Uh, no, it's just you seem to be having difficulty introducing yourself. I rarely have a need to do so, so I was considering what approach to take. Girl, she's just like me for real. After all, is there such a thing as a self in the first place? All I am is a bundle of nervous tissue reacting to external stimuli. If I had to, I guess I'd call myself Poochie Lavman. Why does she sound like an AI? Am I talking to chat GPT right now? Or am I talking to a being? Or do we have a canonly autistic character? I like that. Pretty. I like her. <gasps> Whoa, look, is that a Monomi pin? Do you see her hairpin? Her bunny hairpin? Is that Monomi? So your name is Poochie then? Names are meaningless. A method of arbitrary labeling for self-recognition. Symbols for categorization. Nothing more. Okay, maybe she's a robot. To that end, it serves the same purpose as a detective deed. Or so I, Poochie, believe. She seems a bit odd. Most of the World Detective Organization's work is investigating unsolved mysteries. I was trusted with many bureaucratic investigations. My clients are mainly enterprises and politicians. Ooh! 
So the rich? I bet she is a robot, actually. Depending on the client, I use my forte to see if the transaction party is trustworthy. My forte is known as audio aptitude. When I concentrate, I can hear anything from distant whispers, footsteps, and even heartbeats. No one is safe to speak of their secrets when I, Poochie, am around. Oh my god, the Gossip Queen. I like th I like her character. That explains the headphones. I wonder I wonder if that's something she can turn on and off. I feel like it has to be, right? Otherwise, she'd have the headphones on all the way. Oh, then did you hear anything suspicious at the station? Uh, maybe we can figure out what happened to me. Unfortunately, unless I focus my efforts on listening, I'm unable to hear things. Far okay, so away. she can turn it off. Oh, I see. Constantly listening in on all sounds leads to a sensation of my physical boundaries within reality dissolving away. My already tenuous sense of self starts to vanish, which is why I tend to close my ears unless I'm using my powers. Being blessed with powers sure comes at a price. Did she always act in such a strange way? Or did it develop after she obtained her forte? So like, I wonder how you like obtain a forte. Does it just like, I, I, maybe it, do, it doesn't happen right as, you bor as you're born? Or maybe it does, you know? Maybe, maybe it's more like a, like a, ugh, maybe it's like a quirk from my hero. <laughs> or you get it when you're five years old, maybe? I'm not sure. Regardless, she definitely has a distinct air about her. That is all I have to say about myself. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's, she's, she's nervous. This part of her seems a bit more normal. Oh my God, are they blushing? Are they blushing? Are they, are they in love, Chad? Are they in love? Oh, I hope they are. They'd be great for each other. I like this. Okay, wait, so we just have, oh right, we have Sexy Cat Boy. And that's the last one, right? I think they'd be cute with each other. What do you think, chat? I think, I think they'd be really good for each other. They seem about around the same age, yeah? He is, he's a coconut head and she's just like, so cute and awkward. But he's not biased by her weirdness, you know? Okay, talk to me, cat boy. I'll go first. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Zilch Alexander. Ooh, hi Zilch. I'm from the Southern Forest Preserve District's detective agency. They call me Nature's Mediator. Now tell me, are the ears real or not? They're moving! <gasps> they might be real. I love people, nature, and the harmony between them. However, there are times when some would attempt to ruin that harmony. My specialty is in handling those people. Have you heard of the chain of mysterious murders surrounding the dam construction at Souls Lake? Rumor has it that one by one, everyone involved with the dam's construction died, all cursed by a sunken ritual site. It was a once in a century difficult case. The one who solved it was none other than myself. He's so prideful. I really hope he takes a stick out of his ass and throw it out the window because he could be way cuter there wasn't much to it the culprits were locals who wanted the rights to the dam for themselves so your ego was bigger than your ears the strange part is that all 52 villagers were in on it they all kept their lips sewn shut to protect the secret i'll let you figure out what that means when harmony between man and nature is disrupted disaster strikes that is one thing I have learned as a detective. Nature's mediator? He does look like a good detective. 
Also, Coco Head, you're too optimistic. Though he suspected me, he still gave me a fair chance to explain myself. He looks a bit intense, but maybe he's a good person. He looks very intense. I bet he's a good boy, though. I'll describe my forte as well. I'm uncomfortable exposing classified information regarding investigators, but this is an emergency. My forte is animal investigation. I can control animals as I wish and recruit them from my inquiries. Quite fitting for the philanthropist that I am. Oh my god. Though useful in many ways, I mainly use it to gather intel. It allows me to survey a target while remaining undetected. You think he's, he's Aquaman? <laughs> You're right, he's Aquaman for the land. As a basic rule, I can only control four-legged mammals. Less intelligent animals are easier to control. I often use mice. They're the perfect animals for undercover investigations. Oh, that's so true, and they're so smart. Unfortunately, I can't show it off right now because there aren't any mice on this train. Not only is he a good detective, but he also has those powers. He really is impressive. That is all from me. With love, I yield to the next person. Lastly, it's your turn, Yuma. Aside from having amnesia, is there anything else we should know about? I don't even know anything about myself other than my name's Coco Head and my head looks like a coconut and I probably listen to Coco Melon. That's all I got for you, Zilch. Zilch, not a nothing more. I still can't remember anything. If you really are a master detective, then you should have some sort of forte. <sighs> I have no idea. Oh, young man, are you sure you don't remember? How about the kind of clothes you usually wear? Or brands you like? Oh my god. You only inquired about clothing. Maybe you'll remember after a few punches to the head. Hold on! Aphex, stop that. If you knock him out, he won't be able to speak. The perplexing circumstance we face may have something to do with his memory. Why does he ca keep calling me a perplexing circumstance? That's right, I was wondering about that. What do you mean by perplexing circumstance? Did something happen? Well, something unexpected has occurred on our trip. The number of people is off. What do you mean it's off? The number of people? I, Hoochie, heard from the World Detective Organization that the number of master detectives on the train was precisely five. Oh, bro, I gotta be the fake, right? Five? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, bro. Man, I got goofed! Who sent me a faulty letter? There's six of us. I also heard from the WDO that five master detectives will gather on board. Oh, bro, I have to be the fake, right? Hence why when you called yourself a master detective, I was honestly surprised. I knew this job wouldn't be easy, but there's already a mystery before us. <laughs> This is getting exciting. It's obvious what's going on. There's an imposter among us. And that's sus! <laughs> he keeps using the word imposter. It's killing me. He keeps, he's like, this shit, there's an imposter among us. It's not me. I think. <laughs> he has no idea. He's like, I could be the imposter. Or not. You're gonna have to vote me off the off the train, I guess. How about we contact, we contact the WDO, WDO and find out? out. It, it could be a mistake. It's no use. I can't, I can't reach them. them. There's, There's no, no signal, signal here. <laughs> Who could the uninvited sixth guest be? Sir, I feel like it's way too obvious that here's the thing, I feel like it's too obvious it could be this eraser guy, okay? But also, it totally could be because he's like, maybe if I play the most obvious role, they'll be like, no, it's the most obvious like thing. So it's obvious. I'm the most suspicious, 
Especially with my amnesia in this situation. Yeah, Coco Head. Could I be the imposter? And I just can't remember? I am the sixth one here. All right, I got it. Hey, since you're all clueless, I'm gonna tell you my extra sharp deduction. You may speak. I'll allow. Why would I need your permission? Whatever. Way I see it, the runt here ain't the imposter. Uh, who is it? Huh? It'd be boring if the most suspicious one is the culprit. See, that's what I was saying. That's, but that's, I was pointing at the old guy. The run must have been attacked by the real culprit. The memory loss is a side effect of the attack. And the imposter's motive? Why would they attack Yuma? To pretend to be a master detective and replace the runt on the train. The plan was going smoothly, but the runt suddenly woke up. He got on the train right before it departed. And the results stand before us. Obviously, the imposter miscalculated. The runt's gotta be tougher than he looks. Oh, that's a surprisingly proper deduction. And I thought you'd be the most useless one here. Why, thank you. In other words, I was knocked out at the station because someone attacked me? But I don't think I've been injured. Excuse me. My deduction is slightly different. Let's hear it. I'll allow it. Stop acting like we need to get your permission! I suspect that the entire situation is a test designed by the World Detective Organization. Oh! A test? A WDO exam officer has disguised themselves as a member and is ascertaining our skills here. If that were the case, Yuma here could possibly be the exam officer. Me? An exam officer? <laughs> Bring it on! Oh my god! I don't care if it's the WDO or a hitman. If you want to test me, I'll show you what I got! Sir, I need you to calm down. What are you trying to do? For now, I'll check to see if there are other uninvited guests. I wouldn't want any accomplices lurking about. And how are you going to do that? Like this! Let's go! Oh! Oh, that's pretty good! That's a good skill! What? What was that? A weird feeling overcame my whole body. No signs of the enemy. <laughs> Turns out there really are just six of us on this train right now. Um, what did you do? I used my forte, life detection. I can detect life in a 50 meter radius and pinpoint its location. The mechanism is a trade secret, but I can say without a doubt that we're the only ones on this train. Talk all you want, but who can verify that you're not lying? D yeah, dude, you just struck down a Naruto pose in front of us and said some weeboo shit. How can I trust you? We're never gonna get anywhere if you start doubting everything. Use your own damn powers to figure it out then. I see. So Forte's come in handy at a time like this. In that case, there's someone else with a power that can confirm if other passengers are on board. Um, Pucci, would it be possible for you to verify what Aphex said is true? Yes. I, Pucci, was contemplating it at the moment. Even if someone is hiding, my audio aptitude is able to detect their breathing and heartbeats. Shall I try? Do go for me, baby girl. Yes, please. Hey, what's with the gloomy little girl? Don't tell me she's motion sick. She's using her audio aptitude to check if there are other passengers. Oh, really? Well, that's great. Go for it. It'll prove I'm right. Shut. Huh? Shut up, you brain dead idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she has a little bite to her. I like it. Pardon me. Would you mind quieting down for a bit? I need to concentrate. Oh my god. I think that's a Monami pen. 
And maybe it's not. But it looks like a Monami pin. Oh, auto save. Nice. This sensation. I felt it when Aphex used his powers. Somehow, it feels like I can hear what Poochie hears. Does no one else hear it? What's going on? I finished. I cannot hear the heartbeats of anyone besides the six of us here. Though one could hold their breath, they still cannot stop their heart from beating. In other words, there's no one else on this train. I, Poochie, guarantee it. See? I told you so! Sorry for calling you gloomy earlier, little girl. You know, I'm glad you've confirmed my findings, but... Aren't our powers kind of the same? Mm, no. I can hear heartbeats from 500 meters away. <clears throat> oh, she just said, actually, I'm better than you. So you're the useless one. Quiet, you catty bitch! <laughs> oh, she loves that. Moving on, we've now got proof from two master detectives. We can say for sure that there are no other passengers. Though one may be a lying imposter, the other's statement can still be trusted. One of them an imposter? But Aphex and Poochie both use their fortes. I could feel them using their powers, so I think it's safe to say both are master oh, detectives. Oh, I see. Maybe that's my forte. I can I can feel people when they use their abilities. But I'm the only one who can sense their powers. No one else seems to have the same experience. Why am I the only one? <laughs> What's wrong with you, old man? Oh, he can hear everybody's thoughts, right? Can you all hear that? The sounds of a running train, the wheels of fate chugging along. In the same way, our fate continues to turn. This train will press on until we reach our destination. No one can get off midway, including the uninvited sixth. Let's discover which of us is the caged bird in here. <laughs> My fading detective spirit is revitalized once again thanks to this burning mystery. Oh, he's so creepy. Not bad. Things are getting interesting. You're joking. What could the imposter even accomplish? We're all master detectives here. And yet we don't know who the fake one is. I've used my power, so obviously I'm the real deal. The gloomy girl detective also passes. She ain't no fake. So... How about the guy blowing smoke, huh? Why don't you go ahead and prove yourself with your forte? How about it, you four-eyed fox detective? Dude, I hate how aggressive he is. Just calm down. As I have already explained, my power involves animals. Without them, I can't use it. So, you're fine being considered a suspect then? You are free to think what you wish. Unfortunately, I can't prove myself either. Without a dead body, I can't use my powers as a medium. Now we've got two suspects. How about you, old man? I don't mind showing off, but it won't clear any suspicions. The sixth uninvited guest could possibly be a traitorous master detective with their own forte. Also, like... If you have a forte, does that automatically mean you have to be a master detective? Like, there definitely could be people that have fortes that don't want to be a master detective, right? They just probably, I don't know, maybe want to live a simple life as a barista or a baker, okay? You know? So, like, like... Are you forced to be... Like, a master detective if you have one? That's true. There's no end to this! To hell with it! Everybody line up! I'll deck you one by one. W what is that going to accomplish, sir? Whoever passes out is safe. Got it? The real deal. If you don't pass out in one hit, then you got to be the imposter. Calm down. Let's do things logically, like the detectives we are. Pardon me. 
I suggest we investigate this, starting with the motive for the imposter's infiltration. Hmm, the motive. One possibility is that it's a test from the World Detective Organization. Are there any others? There are. You may speak. I'll allow it. I hey, I was like, I'll allow it, I guess. For the hundredth time, why would we need your permission? The Amaterasu Corporation. They could be responsible for this. And your reasoning? Someone has been tailing me for the past few days. It started after I was first assigned to Kanai Ward. Wherever I went, I could sense the presence of someone in the shadows. But I could never catch them in the act. It was getting annoying, so I tried to bait them out. I walked around town in my underwear. And at last, they revealed <gasps> themselves. And who was it? Hold up. Did you just say that you... Hmm? Something the matter? <clears throat> Never mind. Continue. Okay, we're just gonna ignore that. Okay, continue. I solving problems with violence, so I was unable to apprehend them. However, I saw them escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars with my own eyes. You sure that ain't just a normal stalker girl? Why would Amaterasu Corp spy on you? Because they don't want Kanai Ward to be investigated. Perhaps this is the same situation. Which is why I think our uninvited sixth guest is a spy from Amaterasu. The spy has only one goal. To disrupt our trip to Kanai Ward. Hence why they are pretending to be a master detective among us. Hmm. So you believe Amaterasu is involved? Not impossible, though your reasoning is somewhat lacking. I do not see how escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars is proof someone is a company spy. Well, that's fair. Yeah, I was about to say that. Like, it sounds like anybody can really board these trains. Like, they're not a part of the corporation, but they're riding the train right now. Um, excuse me. You keep talking about it, but what's Amaterasu Corporation? Are you kidding me? We gotta explain that too? It's fine. We can teach Yuma as we share information with one another. What is the Amaterasu Corporation? In short, Amaterasu is a freaking huge company. You see their products practically everywhere in daily life. They make everything from kids' toys to fighter jets, industrial goods, electronics, pharmaceuticals, everything. Big companies always got dark underbellies. With Amaterasu, for their smoke, there's a whole building burning down. That's a detective joke. Funny, huh? No, not funny. Sure, I got it, thanks. <laughs> okay, what about the Kanai Ward? We're heading to Kanai Ward. What does that have to do with Amaterasu Corporation? It's fairly complicated. But Kanai Ward is essentially an Amaterasu Autonomous Zone. Previously, Kanai Ward was just another regional city. But as it was being developed by Amaterasu Corp, the city itself transformed. Factories, research labs, and affiliate companies were built. In no time, the whole place belonged to Amaterasu. As a matter of fact, Kanai Ward is essentially ruled by the Amaterasu Corporation. Political power has no influence there. Since it's so isolated, no one has been traveling to and from... Isolated? Exactly. Because of that, no information has been getting out, aside from rumors of unsolved cases. Interesting. This has been going on for years, but the unified government has been turning a blind eye to the whole thing. The Amaterasu Corporation's influence affects not just the UG, but the entire world. Given the situation, the World Detective Organization couldn't wait any longer and decided to act. As a result, Master Detectives are gathering in Kanai Ward. Oh, so it's not just us. Or maybe it is just us. That's pure speculation, mind you. We won't know the full details until we arrive. I see. Thank you very much. Okay, well then, why are we on the fucking Amaterasu Express if we're, like, 
You know what? Actually, that makes sense. If it's like a billion dollar company that like essentially rules the world, like, I don't know, Amazon or something. I don't know. You know, like, I guess maybe the Amaterasu Express is the only, only like viable transportation to Kane Ward. I don't know. Maybe they hold a monopoly on it. Speaking of, this train is called the Amaterasu Express, isn't it? Yes. The Amaterasu Express is an entirely driverless train developed by the Amaterasu Corporation. The WDO made arrangements to prepare it for arrival at Kanai Ward. Normally, it has no passenger cars for the trip to Kanai Ward, but they added ours as a special exception. It features enough passenger space for all of us and a lavish dining car. Quite the warm welcome. A perfect setup to persuade us nothing is amiss in Kanai Ward. Oh, that's true. By the way, the windows and doors are completely locked until we arrive. That also seems pretty suspect. They say it's for our safety. But I feel as though we're stuck in a big, moving coffin. All the sash windows are sealed, so they can't be open. I, Poochie, confirmed it myself prior to the train's departure. Perhaps these measures were taken to prevent infiltrators or stowaways. Once it's en route, the Amaterasu Express becomes a box that's impossible to enter or exit. If you feel up to it, why don't you take a look around? But you can access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken. Broken? It's broken, it won't open? Well, go ahead and see for yourself. Right. Has anything you heard sound familiar? Oh, that sounds passive aggressive. It feels like my first time hearing about any of it. Sorry. I see. It's all right. Just tell us if you do remember anything. Thank you. He seems nice and all, but maybe he's the imposter. Huh? Oh, bro, am I hearing shit? Oh, wait, no, it's the little ghost girl. I'm hearing shit. They're gonna think I'm crazy now. Um, did someone just speak? No. Hey, what's wrong? You've gone pale. How about you have something warm to drink and get some rest? Although we only seem to have coffee here. Yeah, let's drink a cup of coffee and go to bed. Actually, that's what I do with my ADHD. I feel do like coffee puts that? me to sleep. Or do you need some milk? Front probably wants milk. Oh, calm down. Hey, how old are you anyway? I can't tell from the way you dress. Never mind him. Here, have a drink to warm yourself up. <sighs> Thank you. Do I even know how old I am? What was that voice earlier? Am I hearing things? I have amnesia and now I'm hearing things. What's happening to me? I wonder if it has something to do with the sixth person. Besides, who is this sixth uninvited guest anyway? I should think about it a bit. Who is the most suspicious person here? Oh bro, don't make me pick. Dude, I think it's Melami, dude. I feel like me is too obvious. This guy looks like a straight up villain, bro. Like this guy looks like a bad guy. Poochie and Apex abilities seem so similar. So it's sus for one of them. You know, that's what I'm kind of thinking too. And both of their things are so similar. Why would they pick both of them to go on this trip, right? But Bel Melami had like a lot of information to share. Zilch, Zilch also is just so fucking cocky for no reason. It's like the mastermind of DRV2. That's fucking so true. I'm, I'm, I'm so confused on who to pick. Like, why would a master detective organization pick two people that can do essentially the, like, the same thing? And why was one better than the other? I'm really suspect them. I think Melami and Aphex are my, are my top two right now. Aphex immediately used his powers to prove no one else was around. If he already knew that Poochie had a similar power, then perhaps that means 
He could have purposely used his powers first to prove he was trustworthy. That's no true. How much I think about it, we have no proof of anything so far. If I really am a master detective, I could have some useful powers. I wonder if I can somehow remember what those powers were. Remembering now won't do any good. Girl, how about you just show yourself? There it is again. I keep hearing that voice. Jeez, what's happening to me? Hey, Runt! Uh-huh? Get over here. The old man is gonna show off his powers. What? Uh, Zange? Dude, why is he, like, so focused on this? What the heck? Although I am reluctant to do so, I shall demonstrate my forte. You forced my hand. Otherwise, suspicions will continue to mount against me. But didn't, weren't you the one to say that, like, it could be a spy? Yeah, isn't What's his that? thing just, like, so Google? Fun. Isn't he just human Google? Quiet. Hmm. Hmm. What's going on here? Is he, is he loading up the dark web? Oh, no! Anime girl titties! No, I'm joking. What is he, what did he pull up on a cellular device? Do you just pretend Google is his forte? What happened? There it is again. I can feel Zonga using his forte. As I've said before, my power is photography. I can project my memories onto electronic mediums to generate and record footage. Dude, why don't you just write a book? The recorded clip shows what occurred approximately five minutes ago. I suppose it's faster to simply show you. That's definitely the scene that took place about five minutes ago. I can only record about two to three seconds. Back in my prime, I was able to do ten. <laughs> okay, dude. He's, 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 he's lost his game. He's got to go retire or something. Also, as memories fade, the recorded footage will also fade. The rule of thumb is that it lasts around 48 hours. Sir, get an upgrade or even better. Just record with your phone. But by copying it to another device before it fades, footage can be used as evidence during investigations and in court. So like, why, why does that matter unless he's literally witnessing a crime, right? Pardon me, but are you sure this is photography? It appears as though you captured footage from a hidden camera. All you do is doubt everybody. Be constructive for once. You think being suspicious isn't constructive? Don't you believe that the truth lies beyond all suspicion? Yep. A detective's job is to suspect others. I'm hearing things again. My memories haven't returned, and the voices keep getting louder. Oh, oh my god. Me too, brother. It's giving me a headache. It's like my own body doesn't belong to me. Oh my god, imposter syndrome. Young man, oh. are you alright? You don't see. Did you well. just nay nay? I'm sorry. I feel a little dizzy. I believe you should rest. Maybe a nap will help get your memories back. The passenger rooms from car three and beyond are all full, so you should use car one at the front. I believe there's an infirmary in there. It should be easy to monitor from where we're at in the second car. Monitor? You've got some nerve. Will you be all right on your own? Or do you need some company? Sheesh, get a grip, will ya? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Huh? Did you say something? No, it's nothing. I'm all right. I can get there by myself. Oh my god, his ahoke is like a question mark. Danny, what the heck? Oh, he's just as confused as everybody else. I'm not following, but this is fun. Uh, detectives, super detectives, but there's an imposter on the train to our destination. That's all we really know. Short and, and like short term. I'm sure you can pick up more the more you watch, though. The main use of this is for epinage, I think. Oh, that's fair. 
Oh, bro. Ugh. Oh, man. Oh, I'm so dizzy. Hey, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. Can I get through this door? Oh, my God. I'm in cart one again. Where is the infirmary? I feel like someone's gonna shank me around the corner. What the hell? Wasn't this supposed to be locked? Wait. It's locked. You gotta find the key first. The key! Where's the key? Is it somewhere in the first car? Will it let me look in the dookie ass toilet for the key? Oh my god. Am I gonna throw up? Oh my god. It's Coco Melon! Oh, there's my spooky ghost friend. <laughs> I just passed out. I'm yelling. He's like, oh man, I'm out. It's time to get up. How long are you going to sleep? Get up, 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 or I'll boon kill you. Oh, my God. What can you even do? You little ghosts. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Ghost. So you can finally see cute little me. It's all taking root. What? Huh? What is this thing? <laughs> who, who are you? How can you call me a thing when I'm so adorable? Bro, you kind of look like a sperm cell. <laughs> aren't you rude? Oh! It's talking. Not only am I hearing things, I'm seeing things too. I've completely lost it. Snap out of it. You're my master, aren't you? Oh my god. Master? That's right. We exchanged an intimate secret pact just between us. Girl, when are you lying to me? What, what pact? What? You've forgotten all about how we were so passionately bound together? Were we in love? Oh, how cold of you! After I offered myself to you and you alone. Oh my god. You're so irresponsible. Take ownership of your actions. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, kitty, of course you forgot. That's part of the contract. The contract? You don't get a death god for free, you know. If you want to eat, you got to bring something to the table. Bro, she's a Shinigami. Wait, what did you just say? A death god? Call me Shinigami. Oh, is her name just Shinigami? She doesn't have a name? Death god sounds so ominous and creepy. That ain't my style, you know. I'm too cute for that. I was born too pure and innocent. I actually love her so much. You can see how she looks like a horny sperm bro. She's she's blushing. She's just a cute little sperm cell. I, I don't know why why they made her look like that. Like her her uh character profile icon, like on the text doesn't look like that, but her character model does. That's why I prefer to go by Shinigami. Anyway, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good answer, Master. You keep calling me Master. Wait, are you haunting me? Please, call me Shinigami. Shinigami? Yep, yep. Of course, I'm 100% haunting you. I'm haunting you like your life depends on it. That was your wish, after all. It's why we made that contract. That's what I wanted? And for our sweet, sweet contract, you offered something in return. Offered? <gasps> you mean... You finally got it? You offered your own memories. 
You tossed away your entire past and smashed our fates together. That's kind of romantic. That's why I have amnesia? The euphoria from completing our contract made you pass out in that room. Even though you woke up, what are we doing in that room? It's time for me to take root in you. Ruin me? Now, which makes what do you mean by that? Not. Which is it? Why would I make a contract with you? Why did I offer my memories? Sorry, but I can't share the contract's details with you. Those are the rules. Why not? Tell me. Oh, bro, am I going to have to detective my way out of this? No can do. That's the contract. By the way, master, something's been bothering me. What is it? Two hours have gone by since you passed out. Huh? Yep. And here I was, waiting for you to wake up. Admirable, right? But during that time, no one came to check on you. They're all so cruel, you know? Nobody came to check on me? What the fuck? I mean, I guess I did say I was fine. Why am I here? Is this the restroom in the first car? That's right. I felt sick at the dining car, so I was looking for the key to the infirmary. You should watch your own health, Master. We share mind and body. When you feel sick, I get irritated too. Your haunting presence is probably why I felt sick in the first place. <laughs> hey, don't blame me. Anyway, you better hurry and take a look around. That's right. Where are the others? Oh, yeah. Hey, Boo Boo. Where are you? S smoke? What's going on? Oh, hell no. It's me? How mysterious! What? Weren't you watching over me the whole time? I can't be separated from you. That should be obvious since I'm haunting you. Oh, bro! The ambush happened! Sleeping face in the restroom. I have no clue what happened outside. My dumb so sleeping face. Here. What do you mean about that? Hey, look, look! There's smoke coming in through the cracks of the door! Is that the infirmary? Wait, is there a fire? Fire? So, it's burning? Now I'm getting excited! Bro, why are you getting excited? We're gonna we die. To we can't leave. Okay, well, first things first. Can we pick this up? No, looks like someone tried to. Oh. <coughs> What's going on? I feel like we shouldn't open this up. Zilch! Bro, Zilch, it's locked. There's too much smoke. I, I gotta help. Master. Somebody call 911! Shawty's burning on the dance floor! Whoa! <laughs> I'm screaming. Damn, when I said he was hot, he was fine! I didn't mean put him on fire and make him pass out! Is he dead? No, he's not dead. Stop. Stop. No, not the hot guy. Stop. 